chased, tracked, and hunted, how will you survive? In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at my minimalistic behind enemy lines, leave no trace survival kit. Now let's jump into it. So to start off, this kit has basically a seer or survive, evade, resist, and escape mantra or ideology behind it all. So that being the ideology. And I wanted to create a video explaining a survival kit that could be implemented if you were being hunted, if you were being chased. This would be an effective survival kit because having actually been chased in real life, when I was out doing bushcrafting operations, I know what it's like and I know what it means to have a compact, quick, and very portable survival kit that allows you to evade or escape your captors. So now with that out of the way, let's jump into the first segment, which is the firearm. Because if you're behind enemy lines, it's going to be extremely important that you have something that will allow you to survive and resist. So what I chose for myself is the Glock 19. Now the reason why I chose the Glock 19 and many people may question, you know, why did you choose a 9mm semi-automatic handgun? Now the reason why I chose this is for a couple reasons. The first being firepower and mobility. So this, with this setup, the two magazines back here and the magazine in the gun, plus around in the chamber if I had that, would allow me to have a maximum of 46 rounds total. This is quite a few. Now, once again, this is geared toward not living out in the woods forever, just being out there for a short time and surviving while whoever your rescuer is works on saving your butt. So 46 rounds is pretty good. And the reason why I chose a nine millimeter as opposed to something like a 44 Magnum or a 45 ACP or even a rifle or something along those lines is that I liked the fact that with nine millimeter, it's not only a round that I can resist and attack with should I be pressed into that role, but I can also do limited hunting with this firearm. I can once again, hunt smaller game animals like squirrels, like hares, like rabbits I can shoot them with this round and it's not going to disintegrate the entire animal and at the same time like I said if I have to I have enough rounds and the ability to survive a light firefight so that is my choice for firearm now like I said I'm also carrying two magazines for this which give me the ability to have more ammunition and once again this is in a very lightweight very slim profile I have you know another 30 extra rounds here okay so the next part is the primary tool and this is a general purpose tool really just a knife but for me it is the Chris Reeve knives Pacific so this is the knife once again it fits into the mantra it fits into the mantra very well. It is a survival slash combat knife. It can be pressed into either role. So if I need to resist capture, or if I just need to survive, I can certainly and easily do that with this knife. And now lastly, the last bit that really makes this the leave no trace part of the survival kit is the actual survival kit itself. Imagine that. So, here is the survival kit. For it, it is a Janus pocket extension by Maxpedition. Now, we're not going to dig into everything that this ha this pack has to offer because that would just be too long for this little video. However, I want to highlight the portions that make it a leave no trace type of kit. This means no starting fires, very low preference to hunting. Once again, if it's starve to death versus hunt, then I would choose hunt, but very low desire to hunt and more uh, desire to do things that would such as fishing or you know eating energy bars that are in here so that I don't leave any trace. So to start off we have a full-on mini uh, fishing kit. This is the first half of the fishing kit. The next half is right here. So I have line, lures, sinkers, hooks, 
all that fun stuff. So the next part is, like I said, I don't want any fires, so that means no boiling water. So for that part, I have iodine tablets, and the reason why I chose iodine tablets over a survival straw or other things like that is that a survival straw or those types of methods allow you to get just a little bit of water at one time. Whereas the nice thing with a with water tablets is if I'm not thirsty at the moment, I can grab a bag of water, fill it, or grab this bag or two bags of water, fill them, drop a tablet or two in there, and have myself a nice amount of water for when I need it. So together with these, with a plastic bag like this, and with these um, iodine tablets, they allow me to have water that leaves no fire trace, no time to purify it, or I don't have to stop, make a fire, you know, and waste time purifying this. I can, you know, drop a couple tablets in this on the move. And as I mentioned, you know, having a couple energy bars such as cliff bars or other types of food that is once again very portable and something that you don't have to stop and cook also lends its fat itself to a leave no trace, very highly mobile system. So anyways, guys, that's kind of my kit and my thoughts on a leave no trace behind enemy lines kit.